In my lab, we're studying the cell biology of taste recognition. We are very interested in understanding the sense of carbonation. How is it that we feel that burning sensation when we drink a fizzy soda? And we know that it's sort of a pain sensation, so we looked in the part of the brain that houses the sensory neurons that are responding to pain. And what we found was that it was a very specific subset of cells. We then went further and identified the molecule involved in detecting CO2 as a particular ion channel called TRPA1. So by identifying the molecule involved in response to carbonation, we can now think of how this might help in developing therapeutics that alleviate some forms of pain. For example, the pain that people feel with a heart attack and cardiac ischemia. This experiment evolved in a very interesting way. I had the one student in the lab working on the sense of pain, and I had another student in the lab working on the sense of taste, and in particular on sour taste. Sour is one of the least understood of the senses of taste, and we decided to study this by looking at how the specific cells that are thought to respond to sour, how in fact do they respond? What is the electrical response? And it occurred to us that some of the things that we consider sour, such as vinegar, also evoke a burning sensation. And this is also true for carbonation. It's both sour and painful. And so what we did was we took the stimuli that my student who was working on sour, uh, measuring responses from taste cells, and then we added those to the cells that my other student was studying carbonation. The study of neurobiology is really the study of the basic processes of how the brain works. And the way the brain works at the first step is to receive sensory information. So that's really where the most basic information is coming in. So what we're doing is trying to understand what information is coming into the nervous system and how is that information being encoded? How is it being transduced?